take questions from Coach? Um, I was just curious when you look at Talia from last year to this year, what, what do you think is the most significant difference in the Like I said um, before, I think for Talia, it's his command of the offense. Uh, the comfort level he has with the signals, the calls, uh, the verbiage, kind of where he starts and ends is each play has a starting point and an ending point. And I think that, and then along with the chemistry that he has with his wide receivers, I mean, as I said before, you know, coming in last year in the middle of COVID, he wasn't able to develop those relationships with the relate with the, the offensive players because of how COVID kind of didn't allow us to work together a lot. But now I just see that comfort level and a lot of belief that he's he's the guy that they count on and that they can trust as a leader. And is Penny Moon out here? I don't think I saw him, but I might be wrong. Man, all right. So Penny was not out here today. Um, Penny will be returning here very shortly. Uh, he's dealing with a concussion, coming back from a concussion protocol. Um, so so some, sometimes with those concussions, the, the light. So no, he was not out here today. That's a good pickup by you. Uh, Expect to be back for Yeah, he'll be probably back tomorrow, but you won't be here. Uh, I didn't see Deshaun Jones out here today as well. Let's see. Uh, is there an update on him as well? Or? I mean, Jay Sean has been nursing some hamstring stuff. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't see him. He probably wasn't repping a lot because, as I said, we get to this point with camp, we try to rest some veteran guys, guys that we know what they're doing. Um, Jay Sean has been one of those guys. Uh, it's kind of dealt with some lower leg uh, injuries or extremity stuff. And, you know, I, I don't, there won't be any issues with him, though. Coach, Yeah, the big pleasant surprise for me is we haven't had a bunch of injuries. We haven't had any of those catastrophic injuries. And if I had some wood to knock on, I would knock on it to let, you know, you know I don't want to jinx ourselves, but we've gotten through training camp thus far without any of those season-ending injuries that have plagued us in the past. And um, I'm really happy with that part of it. Coach, are you getting a better sense of what younger running backs are going to step in the early season and work behind Lee Davis? Yeah, I mean, obviously Penny and, and Isaiah are two returning guys that played a bunch of football for us. And then, as I've said before, you know, two of my you know, biggest surprises of camp have been, you know, Kobe McDonald and, 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 and Roman uh, Hemby. Both those young players are have shown great young leadership at a young age, uh, have run the ball really well. And as we found, you know, it's easier to play those guys in those positions where they have the ball. And I've been pleased with the way both of those guys are coming along. But, you know, Isaiah has had a great camp. Uh, Penny up until, you know, him going out with the concussion has had a great camp, has lost a bunch of weight, looks fast, catches the ball well. So we've really helped ourselves with depth there at the running back position. And I know uh, last year, you know, there were you guys didn't use the tight ends quite that much, but with more of a, you know, with more depth there this year, how are you, you know, how, how are they looking? How are you going to sort of work into the rotation? Yeah, it's just like what you said. You know, last year we didn't have any tight ends to use. Uh, we moved you know, a linebacker over the tight end and, and just you know, the way we run our offense, we'll always uh, have multiple personnel groupings and tight ends is one of those position groups that I found to be very effective. And when we have those position, that position field, like we do now, uh, it opens up the offense a lot more because those guys are where some of the matchup issues happen. Uh, having the depth that we have by adding Weston Wolf and CJ Dupree, and you know, we moved Austin Fontaine from uh, center outside to tight end. Uh, and he gives us a, a great blocker on the, in the C-gap area. You know, Malik is coming back with uh, the hamstring and then Chig being healthy uh, and Corey Deitch's development. We really feel good about that room. Um, again, like I said, in this offense, that's one of those positions that you can find and create matchups that you need to take advantage of. And we feel like we got the skill at that position to do that. How many practices has it been so far this fall? <laughs> Too many? I have to check my script. Right. I know uh, we're somewhere above 20, I, maybe 23, 23 practice, 23 of practice, 24 something. Yeah. So is this when you start to go in the coaching bag of tricks to keep things interesting and not get chippy, or has that been an issue? And, and not get what a chippy? Chippy? No, Playing I mean, the same guys 20 days in a row tends to. No, get it's been guy. chippy all camp. When I say that I love the way the competition has been amongst our when we scrimmage, it, it's been very competitive. I mean, both sides of the ball kind of have gotten after each other. And, you know, the thing I like most is 
you know, going into this season, we challenged the players. You know, the two things that I feel will be detrimental to us having a great season will be us playing with discipline and then how we'll face adversity because, you know, those are the two areas around here that we haven't been very good at. And so um, when you get to this time in practice, the goal is to stay healthy, uh, to have these guys understand that these are the dog days of camp and summer. It should be hard. Uh, we need to embrace the grind of, of going through it. And that's the area I've been really pleased with. The last two days we've had some heat. You know, we ordered a little extra heat and humidity for these guys. And yeah. it's come through the way we like it. And, and these guys have pushed through. So we've been, been pleasantly surprised there. Without telling West Virginia all my secrets, Emily, but <laughs> we've already kind of we take a period or two out of the last couple of practices that focus on West Virginia. On Thursday, though, is when we'll issue scouting reports and uh, we'll start some of our West Virginia prep and, and you know have scout team looks. But you know we've uh, had a summer scouting report on those guys, a really good team and well coached. Uh, but we've been able to, to steal two, you know, a couple of periods in the last two or three practices. We've done some scout exchange to work on, you know, some of the fundamental things that they do. Are there any position groups that stand out to you so far? Um, the D line, obviously, with their depth, um, the tight end position, the wide receiver position, the DB position, the running back position, uh, all of them except O line, and that's kind of for me been the, the concern because uh, not that they have stood out, but that's the one area where we still have some depth issues. Um, and, and we've got to address those via recruiting and you know continuing to develop some of the younger players that's the one position where they really don't you know come off the yellow school bus and, and roll in here and be able to line up and play immediately and so we'll just keep bringing those guys along coach braswell's done a great job with it we feel good about about you know eight to nine of those guys and you know we got to keep bringing some of those other guys young players along time for two more what else makes west virginia a I think the best thing is, is it's a, a good team that gives us a, a pretty early barometer as to who we are as a team, what type of team we are. You know, they've traditionally been pretty good. Uh, it's a natural rivalry. You know, for the years that I've been around here as a coach, they were always on the schedule. They've had their way with us. I think nine of ten of the games they've won. And we we got to we, we're going to get tested very early, very soon, very fast. So it doesn't allow us to ease into anything. And, and I like that part. We haven't really spoke and talked a lot about West Virginia. We slide in a couple periods here or there, but what we've been working on is installs and getting through camp and making sure we got uh, the offense, defense, and special teams concepts under you know control and that our players have a good understanding. And like I said, we've eased into a couple of periods where we've worked on them, but you know Thursday is when we'll start full 100% attention on West Virginia. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.